It's important to have a procedure in place for IT for onboarding new employees for a variety of reasons. The first reason is standardization. You want to make sure that all your employees are set up with the same tools and have the same access to the right, to the right things that they need to get their job done. The next thing is making sure that as you're creating accounts, you're doing it correctly because rogue accounts are one of the primary ways that hackers are able to access company networks and infect them with ransomware and other um, bad software. The last reason is you really want to make sure that when your employees show up for work on the first day, they have the tools in place that they need to get their job done rather than wasting time um, for IT to set stuff up for them. When onboarding a new employee, there are a few things that IT needs. The first and most obvious is a workstation. You've got to make sure there's a computer available for the new employee to use. The next thing is you need to have an understanding of your entire network from an access and permission standpoint. You want to make sure that you know how to give the right access to the right user at the right time. The last thing you need is documentation. You need to know from HR what the employee's name, their location, phone number, email address, job title. You need to know all those things. And then you need to be able to assign the correct roles and responsibilities inside of the network to the user and then finally configure all the work all the workstation for that user. The result of having an onboarding process is that employees have a positive new hire experience and are able to hit the ground running and become more efficient faster. Having a technology support provider like Sages can help streamline this process allowing you to focus on training your employees to succeed.